Hi and welcome, I'm Lisa, Creative Team Member for Whimsy Stamps. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to open your digital stamps in PicMonkey to resize them, and I'm going to give you a few tips and tricks to use while working in that online photo editor. Now it is, PicMonkey is an online photo editor and you do need a subscription for this. Now, if you're looking for a free online photo editor, be sure to check out Digital Stamps and Be Funky video here on the Whimsy YouTube channel. So here we are in the PicMonkey website and to get started we're going to click create new and then we're going to open a new page now let's go ahead and click blank canvas on this page you can choose from a number of different templates or do a custom size template and that's what I'm going to do I'm leaving this at 2000 by 2000 pixels I'm going to go ahead and click make it and now name my file and click create so now this is our background area here. We're gonna change the color of that by clicking this color wheel. And you can see you can change it to different colors, different shades of colors. It's completely up to what you want, but I want my background to be transparent. So I'm gonna click right by the transparent and put a little check mark there. Now we're set. So let's go ahead and bring in our image. We're gonna click add image and go to the computer and go to wherever you have your file saved on your computer. Go ahead and select that file and then click open. So here's our image. Now notice when we brought the image in to the right, we have an image box and to the left we have a layers box. Now the layers box is exactly what that is. Each time you bring something in, that's considered to be a layer. And the background is our first layer, and then Dudley is the top layer. So we're gonna move all of that out of the way and go ahead and resize these. So click resize here on the left side of the screen and you're gonna see width and height. Now go ahead and click within that box and left click your mouse and drag over it to highlight it. Now you can use your keyboard to type in the size that you want to use. So for demonstration purposes only, I'm just gonna change this to 500 by typing in 500. Now notice as I type in 500, the height there changes on its own. That's just going to ensure that the, si that the um, image stays the correct size. So just go ahead and click apply. And now we have our resized Dudley. Now you can grab the corners of the image and resize him also. One thing I want to point out is I say never resize them from the sides or the top or the bottom because if you do, it's going to either squish them up or flatten them. So there's one little tip for you. So now that we have him sized, let's go ahead and play around a little bit. So I'm gonna click on him and then I'm gonna right click on him and I'm gonna go up to copy. Now there's a couple of ways you can do this. You can do the right click and copy and then right click and paste, or you can just click on him, right click, duplicate layer, or you can use the keyboard shortcuts. So our image box is up. Let's mirror him by clicking on this flip horizontally. And so we've just mirrored our image. Now you can flip him, rotate him num a number of ways on here. And we're gonna just arrange these. So the one that's the largest one that we're clicked on, we need to bring him to the front. So it looks like he's in the front and the smaller one's in the back. So click on the one that we want in the front, which is gonna be the largest one here. or you can click on the one in the back and click right click on it and then click move layer backwards. Okay, so another way that you can go about doing this is you can grab this layers box over here. And remember these are layers. So if you click on one of these layers, you can drag it up and down within that layers box. And that's going to change the position of where the um, layers at. So if we grab this one here and drag it down, it's gonna put it um, behind this one. 
And then if you, same thing, no matter which one you grab and move up or down, it's either going to put it in front of or behind the one you're moving it to, up, above or below. And again, you can just go and say, move layer backward by right clicking on it or bring layer forward. It's up to you how you wanna go about doing this. I always recommend learning the keyboard shortcuts for programs, it makes it much easier. So now that we have our, I've showed you how to mirror your image, we're gonna bring in the uh, sentiment for this, which is I've got you covered. And we just went ahead and did the whole add an image, click the file in our computer and then opened. And here's our image. Now I want to duplicate this. Now remember, we can right click on it and hit duplicate layer. We can right click on it and hit copy and then right click again and hit paste. Or if you click the image and it has the box around it, you can click control C to copy it and then you can click control V to paste it onto the screen. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click control V several times and just go ahead and put several of these up here. I'm gonna show you how you can stack these one on top of the other. So I'm sure you've seen a lot of crafters and maybe you've done this with stamps yourself where you create a background with your cinnamon and then you go ahead and lay your image over it. That's what we're gonna do here. So you can do that with digital images also. There's so many things you can do with digital images. So now let's go ahead and pull our image over our little message there, I've got you covered. And you can see that the image is behind the, the message, the, sen the sentiment there. So let's go ahead and bring it forward. And remember, there's a couple of different ways you can do that. You can go to the layers box and drag him up to the very top of the box and that's going to put him in the front. You can click the arrows there to move him up. You can right click on him and move to the front there's you know you just have to play around with it but i've given you both two ways to do it so it should be fairly easy so now that he's in the front let's go ahead and resize him so that he's not completely covering up everything we're just going to drag by the corner to resize him and now we're ready to go so all we need to do now is just to save this and download it to our computer and then we'll be able to print it whenever we want to use it. So a good way to learn how to use different programs is just take your time, pull your images in, play around with them, create different scenes with them. So save this by going to the download arrow you see there, the blue arrow at the top. Make sure you have the PNG file saved if that's what you want to use, but you have the choice of JPEG or a PDF file and then click download. Now it's going to ask you where you want to save this on your computer. You know the file you want to save it. Go ahead, pick the files where you're going to save it and click save. Now, say you wanted to put a whole bunch of images on one paper in this pick monkey. So when you went into the templates area, you would choose the eight and a half by 11 inch template. And then you could go ahead and arrange your images just as if that were an eight and a half by 11 inch piece of paper and then save it, rearrange everything, save it exactly the same way we did here. And then just go ahead and save it to your computer and then you can print it out whenever you want it. So there's a real quick introduction to how to use PicMonkey to resize your digital images along with a few tips or tricks. If you have any comments, please, or questions, please leave them in the comments below and I will be sure to respond to those as soon as I can. And I hope you have an amazing day.